Welcome back to EK Shop. Today I'm gonna make a flat pry bar. Alright, so welcome back everybody. It has been a while since my last upload and some crazy times we're living in, huh? So I have here roughly 13 inches of 80 CR V2 high carbon steel. Um, it's a steel I bought to make knives with that I thought was going to be the bee's knees. And it just turned out to not be that awesome. So I have a lot of it and it is sometimes used to make tools in industry. So figured ADCRV2 was a good choice for a flat bar. And for the elephant in the room, yes, you can just go buy a flat pry bar for about $15 and under. I know Harbor Freight sells one that's probably just fine for about $3.99. This is more of an experiment for myself really to see if I can dial in the heat treatment correctly so it performs how I want it to. So first thing I'm going to do is bend in the little hook. I'm just going to clamp it in my vise and bend it. I don't think heat is any is really that necessary for this project. Now for the counter bend. So now I got the general shape that I'm going for one hook end and one slight curved end. Next step will be to uh, grind in or file in, I haven't decided how I'm gonna do it yet, some little nail removers, some little notches on each end. Actually, first I'm gonna taper each end a little bit with my belt sander. Now I've got a nice taper here on the long end and a more blunt edge, if you will, on the hook end. After thinking about it a little bit, I'm just going to notch the longer, gentler tapered end. I don't foresee using the nail puller feature that often, and I would prefer to leave this side the way it is. And now, finally, let's heat treat it. So for ADCR V2, I need to heat the steel between 1545 degrees Fahrenheit and 1615 degrees Fahrenheit, and then hold that temperature for five minutes. And then I will be looking for a rather tough uh, heat treat, so I will probably temper it 
at about 500 degrees. So that should be plenty tough, but still hard. Alright, so heat treatment is complete, so I brought it up to 1565 degrees Fahrenheit, I held the temperature for 5 minutes, and then I quenched it in oil. That brought the Rockwell hardness up to 65 Rockwell. Then I tempered it at 500 degrees for 2 hours twice. That brought the Rockwell hardness down to 55 Rockwell. So, on the surface, this is really quite the simple metalworking project. A couple bends, a little grinding, not too complicated as far as that goes. The form itself is relatively simple. What makes this project interesting to me is the, the heat treatment side of things. So basically, to sum all that up, what we are looking for in this application is that it maintains its form right without breaking or the big one here is without bending and staying bent in a way we did not bend it already but in order to achieve that toughness hardness and resistance to taking a set bend you do have to fully harden it and then draw it back um, I'm just beginning to scratch the surface on understanding it from a metallurgical standpoint, but it's, it's very interesting stuff. Now, despite the fact this has been fully hardened, half spring tempered and all that, I would like to note that it will still flex under load. The important thing to remember with steel flexibility, it's largely a function of the thickness of the steel more than anything fully hardened tempered or not and now i'm going to do some simple tests with it see if it works how i want it to uh, before i make it look a little prettier so first thing i'm going to do is see if i can get these nails and this uh electrical staple out of this hickory stump Yeah, I'd say that works. It didn't take a set. That is exactly how I made it. And that one was in there pretty good. Next test, I'm gonna try to pick up this hickory stump, the uh, pressure treated base and my anvil up with the flat pry bar. Uh, this hickory stump weighed a good 100 pounds when it was wet. It's pretty dried out now, so let's say that's about 75 pounds. The anvil is about, oh, I can't remember, I think it's a 55 pound anvil, and then maybe like 10 pounds for the pressure treated base. But this actually weighs a lot more than I will be using the flat bar for, but I figured this might be a good little test. And now I have no doubt I'll be able to uh, prop it up, but I'm mainly interested to see if this bar bends and stays bent because it will flex. All right, here we go. Nice and easy, not too bad. There we go, exactly how it was before I tried. And that's pretty dang cool. Alright, 
Thank you so much for joining me today on EK Shop. This is a very simple but rewarding project. One of those underappreciated tools we use all the time in everyday life. And I would say, yeah, just go buy one. But if you're feeling frisky, if you want to test your heat treat skills, I would give this project a shot. I'm going to throw this in my toolbox and I'm going to use it on a weekly basis. Well, as always, thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please hit subscribe, comment if you'd like, and I'll see you next time.